Hi everyone. Today we are going to cover very important topic, very interesting topic that is sentiment analysis, and uh, how we have to run sentiment analysis uh, in our studio. So here is what I have to do. This is already I have run Amazon data. and uh, this is the bar graph bar chart through which we have to reach how many people are anger how many people are disgust joy surprise negative what kind of comments they had given in their review section so we would like to analyze this amazon data but before that i would like to tell you how you have to download amazon data then after that i'm going to share this file in my description box that is amazon review of one particular product and after that we are going to do sentiment analysis that would be very fruitful and that would be very helpful and in the same way you have to perform sentiment analysis of any sort of data either you had collected that data from youtube you had collected data from twitter from any 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 social media sites you had collected so that one is the you can calculate so after that what we have to do first of all we understand how we have to download this amazon data you can see here here is you have to install this particular uh, this 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 particular in the chrome chrome tab you have to install amazon review export i had already because that is already installed that is why it is reflecting here remove from chrome but otherwise in your case that would add in your chrome that would reflect here so after this a moment i had added because i am not clicking here because already i have add i have added so now i have gone for a uh, one particular um, amazon site and after that what i am doing let's say this is the one of the product one plus not to t 5g right this is the product so i just want to analyze what the customers reviews or the people how they are rating it right so here is what i have to do i had clicked on this particular um, particular particular product and after that i will go down right i'm just showing you and here is you can see here these are the number of reviews and uh, you can see here a moment before that i would like to show you one particular step when you had opened this particular and these all are reviews right so all these reviews let me let me let me let me show you these are the top reviews and after that what we have to do here is you can click here and amazon review export that is you have to pin it right and after that you have to click on and start export review you have to press here and after that it will start exporting this particular data right so this is the procedure and here is you can see number of the scrapped review extension wait for 10 seconds for each page 30 40 50 and wherever you want to stop because you have collected and um, i mean i mean sufficient data so you can click here to stop so downloading please wait and after that this kind of excel sheet that would be here and uh, what you can do after this you can convert this excel sheet if the extension is the dot excel dot xl sx so you can convert it to csv file also because i have done because these are the number of the columns so that number of column i required this particular not review title i like it i want only review content i mean how people are reviewing it what kind of content they are writing in the in the in their review so i need this particular column i would like to analyze sentiment analysis of this particular column so what i did i had removed all those columns only one this particular column as well as serial number i had put it only right so now shall we now start this our uh, studio how we have to run this file i had already written this particular script right so let me clean this uh, this this uh, global environment yes 
and let me clean this bar plot also and now we have to uh, let me clean this also right so this is the this console our console i had all already cleaned right so console little bit uh, we can do it right and uh, now you can see for the sentiment analysis whatever i had put it in the in the hashtag that would not be treated as a command right so first of all what we have to do we have to import this library size you hit right so what we have to do is this library you can see here how i had installed it let me tell you here is in the packages you have to go there install and after that you have to write this particular library name right and uh, you can see here size you had and uh, you can now install i'm not pressing install because i had already installed this library but you have to install it and after that when it is installed then you have to run right so you can see here this is the library i had already installed so let me run this so you can see a sentiment analysis library size you had and after that what i have to do i would like to read this file that csv file i had already downloaded i had already downloaded in my directory and amazon file i have to run this file how you have to set directory let me tell you because otherwise you will face problem because once moment you will download this file that would be put it in your download section but he, that is not your directory so what you have to do you have to cut that particular file and paste in your directory wherever you are working by default there is our directory so let me show you what, how you have to set your directory you have to go here on session right then after that in this session you have to here is let me little bit bigger this part here is in the session you have to go there set working directory choose directory and this is my directory that is in the document there is one r folder i have so in this particular folder i would like to use as directory so in this you can see here set wd set working directory that is reflecting here so this file should also available either it is a dot csv file or any other extension that should also be in the same folder otherwise this file would not it this this uh, our studio would not read this file so what i did this file is already stored here i am going to use this particular command text underscore df1 i had created this variable right so read dot csv a r e v e u dot csv this is my file name you can give your name then strings as factors and false right so i am going to run this the moment i had run this you can see here there is the text underscore df dot this is created here right text underscore df1 and you can see here there are 60 observation i had clicked here you can see serial number 1 2 3 because i had stopped at the 60 only reviews i have taken in my consideration otherwise on the amazon lots of reviews because that is the sample one i just want to show you how you have to do sentiment analysis of amazon data so these are the 60 reviews i have taken and you can see what kind of words people had used phone is superb it is smooth and does it work as per its we can see here and uh, as per is as per its processor and the given features and one of the best phone from oneplus amazing and i will say that i am happy right people are a very good processor right and great product wonderful deal i like this phone it's working perfectly switch from nord to nord to t hot and not hot and not good quality product right please do not buy this phone at all it's totally wastage right so these kind of words people had used best phone under and uh, battery and all these things all these things they have written here right so what i have to do let me go for this particular sentiment analysis right so this one is right so what we have to do after this view text file you can see here then i am going to let me little bit yeah 
then is review one this is my one of the variable i had created what this is as dot character text underscore df1 right this is the this was the variable from this particular variable only content right only content content column it will store here right let i will show you once again where is the this is my content column second column is my content column so what it will it will do it will store in this particular review what after that let me run this you can see it now it's stored in this now what we have to do obtain sentiment score we want to obtain sentiment score so what we have to do get underscore nrc underscore sentiment and there is there are let's say happy is the positive sentiment right positive right so let me i would like to run this and get underscore nrc sentiment that is abused that means those are the negative 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 statements that would store right so what we have to do here is i would like to run and after that i would like to run this also so you can see anger anger i mean here is anticipation one disgust zero fear zero joy one sadness zero surprise zero trust one and negative zero right because it is a and positive right but here is you can see when i used word abuse right so here is anger one anticipation zero disgust one fear one i mean these are treated as a negative this is the a negative one this particular word is somewhere is they had used right so that is the word is would be treated as negative right so after that what we have to do combine next what i have to do i would like to store all those things in sentiment review one into this s1 let me run this so now you can see s1 right so let me click here now you can see all the comments are converted into 010101 and all right i mean how many people they had out of all these 60 reviews are here so they are converted into how many people are anger right anger here is two how many people are using disgust i mean fear joy to so this is the entire sentiment analysis and now what we have to do we want to see all these things in our uh, in a in a in a uh, uh, this one is the bar plot form but before that review underscore sentiment one writes we would use c bind column bind right column bind here is you can see here right i would like to run this and after that this is the now the review underscore sent and all these column bind right and after that i would like to run my bar plot and let's see when i'm going to run my bar plot you can see here let me run this and now you can see here this is my bar plot and you can see there is you can see majority are the positive right and uh, there is the negative is less trust is very high surprise sadness joy fear disgust and i mean this one is the anger so you can see here this one is the amazon feedback i would like to change also this amazon feedback i let's say uh, i just want to give this title amazon feedback of what amazon feedback of that particular phone name i think we can take it uh one plus not two t right one i would use term is here is you can see here of one plus one plus not right so we can use this also and uh, after this now you can see let me run this command once again so you can see here now it is reflecting amazon feedback of one plus nod so here is you can see here uh, how this content analysis we can run in our studio with amazon data or with any other data you can run so i'm sure this video would be helpful thank you keep watching